Alright everyone, Cowboy Trades here, welcome back to the channel for another update on Gala Games. So, Gala Games is going to go down to one cent sooner than you think. How are we going to get down to this level? How have I got this price target? Let's talk about this. Let's start off on the lower time frames and we'll wrap up the video on my price target. So, uh, starting off on the daily, you can see, like we previously discussed in our most recent Gala Games video, about eight days ago, we gave you some warning signs that this was looking like a top for the market. And obviously, we have started to come down uh, dramatically since our last few videos over on Gala Games. Now, uh, what you can see is in the first chart, I have highlighted these SFP patterns, also known as swing failure patterns. These swing failure patterns have happen where basically you have either got lows or highs established in a range or you've got a key trend line key horizontal trend line for example this uh, horizontal trend line that I'm looking at here is the listing price uh, down at two cent uh, when uh, Binance started to list Gala games and what you can see is we had a range low swing failure pattern which basically means you've got a range low you've broken to the downside of this this was a swing failure pattern and you quickly move to the upside now if you're not a fan of putting a swing failure pattern uh, floor at the uh, you know for example a listing price you can also look at the swing lows of this range over here we had a swing failure pattern to the downside of this and then moved back up I personally prefer to put this to the listing price as you can see you know we clearly retested this this was an important level uh, before moving back up and you can also see we had a range high swing failure pattern where we had a range high established here we swung above this got a rejection swung above it one more time came back down got rejected and then we back tested this trend line here we literally back tested uh with multiple multiple candle body rejections and then also a few wick rejections right on this previous range high so this is looking like this was a range high swing failure pattern as we came up and got rejected from the range high and now we're moving back down to the downside on the daily time frame you can see uh that the Heikonashi candles are already moving into the red if we come over to the weekly time frame you can see Heiken Ashi candles are moving in the red and prior to this if we're looking at what happened after Gala Games topped, you can see that red, uh, you can see that when the Heiken Ashi candles start to move into red, it has literally been uh, a historical signal that we are going to continue getting absolutely annihilated. Now, obviously, this is slightly different in bull markets, uh, but since the bear market came into fruition, you can see uh, it has never been a good sign uh, to switch red on the Heiken Ashis. There's only been one time where we switch red, uh, came up a little bit more before nuking to the downside, but in general, we've got one, two, three, four, five sets of data points switching into red and only one of them was preceded with a slight bounce before annihilation and even then we got one two three four five weeks of bearish movement to the downside and we're currently in week three of the bearish switch to the Heiken Ashi. Now while we are talking about getting rejected from range lows, range highs, swing failure patterns etc you can also see the range lows right here, range lows here, range lows here, range lows here. This is what uh, in the previous chart we were looking at with this uh, range high at basically five cent you can see you know right here on five cent this was the range high that we have been discussing uh, but you can also see this trend line you can extrapolate it so this is a very very key level that we've quite recently come up to and like we also discussed if we're looking at the wick down here which came into fruition at 4.7 cent on the weekly time frame we back tested this and we've now got a red green red formation playing out which is uh, a bearish continuation pattern you can see the last time we had a red green red preceded by a breakdown we had a red green red proceeded with a breakdown red green red proceeded with a breakdown red green red proceeded with a doji candle proceeded with another breakdown uh basically red green red breakdown although this one wasn't too nice red green red breakdown red green red pump red green red breakdown so you know most of the time 90 percent of the time these red green reds are a pretty good uh signal that you've just had a dead cat bounce and you're getting ready to move lower so as we've just retested these range lows it is not looking good you can also see if we clear up the ema ribbons uh, and also the moving averages you can see that if we look at you know all of the data that we've got traded over on gala games uh, over on binance uh, i'm looking at the binance chart specifically because the most amount of uh, data where uh, gala games has been traded has been over on binance and you can see if we are putting our fixed volume profiles encompassing all the data that gala games has traded 
updated. I'm going to re-update this so we are uh, looking at the new data in the past week as well. You can see this VPBR zone right here where all of the volume was traded. You can see we respected this level, respected it, respected it, respected it, respected it, broke down, retested it as resistance. Quite recently, we broke down and we didn't have enough momentum to head down to our price targets at one cent. We came down to 1.5 cent. Uh, so what did we do? We needed liquidity. We needed more exit liquidity. We needed to excite retail traders. So we were magnetized to this volume profile. In fact, you can see the three biggest volume profiles is this area, this area, and this area, at least in this range. And what can you see? We are beautifully trading and respecting this data. And we've also got a red, green, red coming into the bottom of this volume profile. You can see the bottom of this volume profile here. We've had a few candle body closes on. So you really do not want to see Gala Games move beneath 4.36 cent if you are a bull. Uh, but that being said, if we do put on the EMA ribbons, you can see that we have moved above the short-term moving average and we're currently back testing the short-term moving average again. So once again, 4.4 cent is a price target you need to keep your eyes on. But 4.3 cent really is your last line in the sand. You can also see we're starting to lose support on the short-term moving average while we are getting this red, green, red bearish continuation pattern. And if we are looking at really, really the last line in the sand for the bull market support bands is down here at 3.6 cent. If you lose this level, this is going to look like this is playing out as a massive massive bark pattern and this is going to take us all the way back down to the lows at 1.5 cent and also head us down to my price targets at one cent and also another price target that I have had my eyes on for a little while now, which I will discuss at the end of the video. In terms of the oscillators on the higher time frames, before we do move into the Elliott Wave Theory and how I get my price target, I just wanted to quickly let you know, you know, the last time, uh, let's look at the oscillators. So the squeeze momentum indicator right here, we're currently in a huge, huge overextension area. Now, the last time this happened, we were sitting at 5 cent and we broke down into new lows at 1.5 cent. And we're even more overextended right now, especially compared Comparing this with the other charts, uh, coming up to all of these previous, uh, you know, range highs, range lows, if we're extrapolating this trend line, getting rejected from it, uh, falling, you know, into the short term moving average, uh, things are not looking good for Gala. So we're very, very overextended on this chart right now. And the squeeze momentum indicates if we do get ready to break down, this is why I tell you Gala Games is going down to one cent sooner than you think. It's not just a pretty title. Uh, we are putting in, you know, bark patterns right now. We're topping out in terms of momentum. The squeeze momentum indicator is extremely overextended. The MFI, looking at how much money has flown into this market, looking at the relative strength, in incorporating the volume as well. That is basically what the MFI does. We came all the way up to 75 and we're so, so overextended right now it is not even funny we've got so much room to move to the downside so when we really do start building up that momentum and breaking down it is not going to be a pretty sight now once again let's pair this um stochastic rsi the, our last oscillator with the Heikonashi candles now like we discussed we have just flipped into red and the last few times this has happened this has always been you know pretty much proceeded with nukes to the downside but if we look at you know the three major tops that we've had in the stock we had a bearish cross here we had a bearish cross here and we had a bearish cross here bear in mind you know we also did have a bearish cross here so if you want to take in this data point we went from 3.8 cent down to 1.5 but I really want to show you, you know, the most overextended that we have been over on the stock. Now, we cr we cross bearish right here. As soon as the Heiken Arshi split bearish, we went from 25 cent very, very quickly down to 4.7 cent in one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. So, you know, a lot of crypto traders are like, you know, that's a lifetime away. But six weeks is not too long to get absolutely annihilated and drop, you know, about 80 to cent. So once again, this is why I say Gala Games is going to come down to my one cent price target a lot sooner than you think. Now, you can see that, you know, the stochastic RSI topped out here and crossed between these two weeks. So if we look at the top of this data point when we started to flip bearish, you can see as we came down, this one took a decent amount of time, but we were really just absolutely nuking to the downside, a 75% drop before the stochastic cross bullish, and we had a move back up to the upside. Now, right now, the stochastic RSI is the most, or it has been the most overextended it has been in Gala's trading history. Uh, you can see that this went all the way up to 100, and now, even with, you know, this bearish flip over on the Heiken Arshis, we've still got so, so much room uh, to move down for the stochastic RSI. Since when we crossed bearish, you can see right here, which was the top of this green candle before we started to flip into red, we've only broken down 18%. So if we're going to follow this trend, you know, hey, 
I think we're coming down to one cent and I'll give you my price targets on these in a second. You can see, you know, an 80% drop, a 75% drop and another 80% drop. It's really, really not too far fetched, especially if like myself, you think the bear market bottom could be round about these levels. Now, I don't want people to take my words out of context. I do want to emphasize round about these levels. That does not mean I'm 100% sure we bottom at one cent. That does not mean I've got buy orders in at one cent. I do not have any buy orders for any altcoins right now. I'm just following the trend. And when the trend tells me it's time to pivot and buy altcoins, that is exactly what I will do. But moving on from here, let's update the Elliott Wave Theory. Now, I'm going to speed through this because we've talked about this quite a lot on the channel. Uh, this pattern here is a WXY double free structure you can read more about this here if you want to pause the video read through this uh, basically this is slightly different from a typical ABC zigzag structure uh, you have a ABC zigzag uh, followed up by an any free ABC and then you have another typical ABC zigzag to the downside and you can see this is exactly what we've got over here you've got a zigzag a B C into an any free ABC so basically any free wave count you've got an a B, C. This doesn't have to be like a A, uh, B with, you know, a lower C down here. And it also can go up, even though it's an A, B, C correction to the downside, this can go up in an any free. And that's exactly what we did. We went down, proceeded to make a new low, and then we made a lower high on the C wave, perfectly valid any C. So with this, with the first ABC, you can see we formed wave W. With the second ABC, you can see that we formed a wave X. And according to this, we have one last macro wave to complete, and this is down to wave uh, Y. Now, wave Y gets completed after you have a macro uh, from wave X, A, B, C pattern to the downside. And as you can see, we topped out on wave C at 7.3 cent and wave b looks like it topped out at 6.3 cent so wave b right here has not exceeded the previous wave c and it has not exceeded wave x so this zigzag pattern is still 100 percent valid and pairing this with everything else we've looked at on the chart like momentum indicators high canarchies flipping bearish range high swing failure patterns also retesting range lows as resistance red green red patterns high canarchies flipping bearish uh you know getting rejected from the volume profiles everything is looking like it's lining up with this beautiful uh, WXY double free structure Elliott wave theory coming down to wave C, which I think is going to land us between one cent and 0 0.06 cent. Now, how do I get to these price targets? Well, first of all, one cent is a listing price on a lot of exchanges for Gala Games. Also, one cent is a psychological target. No one is saying, hey, I want to buy at 1.1 cent. No one's going to say, hey, I want to buy uh, at, you know, 1.42 cent. People are saying, I want to buy at, you know, 2 cent. I want to buy at 1 cent. I want to buy at, you know, 3 cent, 4 cent. Maybe if you're very bullish, you bought at 5 cent or something like this. Uh, but nonetheless, we've got other areas of confluence around these levels. If we do zoom out, Let's see, uh, in terms of the volume profiles, we don't really have much data traded down here. We basically lose all of the support uh, when we do come down to 2.1 cent. But in terms of the Fibonacci's, uh, which we have previously very well respected, you can see we had a very nice Fibonacci over here. And you can see we had a two wave extension right down here. And we didn't quite hit two cent. Uh, we were a tiny bit off, but you can very much see that we did respect this level. You can also see, you know, the 1.618 Fibonacci extension right here was support for, you know, many, many months or, you know, two months. I'm exaggerating a bit. Uh, but with this, we do have another Elliott wave target in town uh, with this slightly higher move. Now, you might be wondering on the weekly what this is drawn to, because uh, if you're pausing on the weekly, you can't see it. But on the daily time frame, you can see uh, swing low, swing high. This happened very, very quickly. So when you're looking at the weekly, uh, it's almost like, you know, what is this Elliott wave even drawn to? But this is drawn on the daily. And you can see that we've got a 1.618 Fibonacci extension at what do you know, the psychological level one cent, the price target where a lot of exchanges listed Gala Games at one cent. Uh, a lot of people are going to be thinking of buying down here. So this is going to be a very strong support level. And also, we've previously discussed uh, other Elliott wave targets that will land us down at this 0 0.06 level. Although we do need to update 0 0.06 because this most recent move we've had to the upside, uh, we drew this roundabout here and we did push up for one more high. So technically your 1.236 Fibonacci is actually going to be down here at 4.2 cent. Now, Am I saying at this moment in time, we're going to go down to uh, not 4.20 cents, sorry, 0.042 cent. Am I saying that at this moment in time, this is my prediction and we're going to come all the way down to 0.042 cent? No, that's not my prediction. I have been saying for a while on this channel, we take things one price target at a time. And with that being said, 
I think the next price target to keep your eyes on is right down here at one cent for all the reasons that I listed in this video. So that's so all I've got for you today, my friends. I do believe another 76% drop for Gala Games is going to come. And I think this is going to happen sooner than most people expect because of everything we've talked about. Oscillators, momentum indicators, key rejections from key levels, and also... Just look at how quick Gala Games previously moves. You know, we break beneath lows, we move very, very quick. We break beneath lows, we make we move very quick. We get range low rejections right here, and we move down very, very quickly. You know, we bounce from support, we find a little bit of a of a feet level, round about some volume profiles, and we have a huge huge move to the upside. Gala Games is very, very whiplashy and these moves happen very, very quick. So I think we're going to come down to one cent a lot sooner than most people think. So that's all I've got for this video, my friends. As always, if you do enjoy my content, let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. Share the videos with your friends. If you want more of my content, make sure to come and follow me over on Twitter at 618 underscore cowboy. Also bear in mind today, we do have Fed Minutes coming out at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So if the Fed comes out very hawkish, it's very, very likely that we move down very, very quick for the entire market. So also, make sure to come and join the Discord if you head over to my YouTube. Click on the About section. You can see the official links for my Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and my merch store are all down below. But for today, that's all I've got. It's been your boy, Cowboy Trades. I'm out. Peace.